Now the final method that we are going to talk about is the layer tetrahedrons. After selecting this method you can see that the software will ask you for a layer height which is essentially the size or the height of each tetrahedral mesh cell that will be placed inside your geometry. For example we enter a value of 5 cm. Also if you click in front of the control mess messages in the pink section you will see that an error exists indicating that adaptive sizing cannot be used with the layer tetrahedron method. Therefore we're going to have to go to the global settings and turn off the adaptive sizing. Now that we've turned off the adaptive sizing we can simply click on generate button. By using this method, uh, which is the layer tetrahedron, as its name says, the software will put layer of tetrahedron mesh cells over each other to create mesh cells for your geometry. In order to have a better view how these layer of tetrahedron mesh cells are placed over each other, we are going to change the section plane view. As you will see in this slide and the next slide, we are going to create a section plane dividing the cylinder into two parts. Now, under the section plane section, if I click on the section plane number 2 and then click on edit plane, you will see that a line with a blue square will be appeared on it. Uh, I go over it and then hold the left click and then draw my mouse downward. As you can see here, when I draw my mouse downward, you can see layer of tetrahedral mesh are placed over each other to generate the mesh inside my geometry. Now these two methods of uh, layer tetrahedrals and Cartesian method are pretty much rarely used to generate mesh over different geometries. Therefore, we're not going to talk about the settings related to this method in details. However, you can change the values for these settings yourself and see how they are affect your meshing. In the second session we talked about different methods for meshing complex geometries like tetrahedrons, hex dominant, sweep, multi-zone, cartesian and layer tetrahedrons. The last two methods, namely cartesian and layer tetrahedrons, as was mentioned before, are rarely used and is recommended that we use the top four methods for creating mesh over our geometries.